simple, easy, beautiful recipe. Today. Today. <laughs> Today, one of the simple, most beautiful, easiest recipes you'll ever put in your mouth. With a twist. With a twist. 15 minutes, you can have the whole deal done. Big hit. Put him right over the coals. Because he's going to take a little longer. Something with sweet and a little heat. That's a nice plate of salmon. Deep fried marinated salmon. A little twist, we marinate the salmon and then we deep fry it. I mean, it's kind of a different deal, but it, the outcome is primo. For the marinade, we got some oil here, about a half a cup vegetable oil, some Italian seasoning, red wine vinegar, some garlic powder, a little bit of salt. You don't want a whole bunch of salt and a little bit of water. Top up this garlic clove here and we really want to mince it so you want it chopped up pretty good to go in this marinade after you get it chopped up do it like that right there a little bit more chopping because you want it minced up real good you know and if you have a garlic press you can always use that that works great but put that in and we'll, what we'll do is whisk it up a little bit because you want to get that vinegar and that oil mixed together kind of like Kind of like vinaigrette. See how it's kind of blending, creaming up? That's what you want to get. All right, that's good right there. Now we'll take our salmon and put right in our marinade. And you want to pick the bones out if you can. If not, when you're eating them, you know how you get all the bones in your mouth. Mix those up a little like this so you get all coated good. And you can even do it in a Ziploc bag if you want. And put it in the refrigerator, maybe 30 minutes, something like that. Let them sit here. Okay, in the meantime, we'll mix up our batter. We've got a bunch of stuff here. And what we wanna do is put our liquid in first, our milk. Got about two cups of milk. Got four eggs here. Pop them eggs like that. Mix them up real good, just till they start coming together with the milk. You don't want to froth it or make it real, real soupy. Just you want a little thickness in there, a little texture. As you add your flour, you want to go real slow when you're mixing, just like that. If if not, it'll just make like a dumpling there, be a big old blog. Oops, oops. And there's nothing like making a mess. That's why I do it outside because when I'm at home kitchen is a nightmare and it looks like it's getting a little bit too thick but if it does hey don't panic you can always add a little bit more milk get some out of my refrigerator here you want to thin it up a little bit we still got some baking powder to go in there so put that in there we go it makes a lot of batter but it'll coat those salmon perfect now we can add our garlic powder and our salt, do it probably about two or three tablespoons. Mix that up good. That's getting there, buddy. Look at that. Creamy and smooth, that's what you want. Because that batter is going to stick to that salmon. We've got our grease, about 350 degrees. We're going to turn it up a little bit. I've been holding it right at 350. That's looking pretty good right there. Whip them around there like that. We're gonna have some beautiful deep fried marinated salmon. We'll go ahead and drop them on down in here. Get them going. Get them good and golden brown. That's great. Takes about three or four minutes. It don't take long to cook them because the fish isn't that big. What I usually do to tell when they're cooked right, this size piece of fish is when the batter's golden brown, they're done. You can just take them right out and they're good to go. And those right there look perfect. All right. Boy, Larry's gonna be proud of these babies. Look at that, deep fried marinated salmon. Get a little bit of Smokey Joe's hot sauce, a little bit of mayonnaise, whip it up real good. Half a cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of hot sauce, 
dip them in there, some finest kind. And to go with fried fish, what would be better than a fresh batch of coleslaw? We're gonna make some coleslaw on the grill. Man, this is a great recipe. Quarter up the cabbage and then make some wedges out of it. Place it on the grill, grill it for three minutes per side, take it off. I've got a dressing I'm gonna make up and all it is is vinegar, oil, coarse black pepper, and some brown sugar. You just whisk it up in the bowl, pour this dressing right over top of it, and you've got grilled coleslaw. Give it a try.